greetings children today we are going to study the first lesson from your textbook vistas the third level it is for class 12 cbsc students this story is written by jack finney before you read have you ever had any curious experience which others find hard to believe so this story tells us about a curious experience curious means very strange experience that is very difficult for our senses to believe we can also say it as bizarre or it is weird it's a weird experience the story third level tells us look at the first sentence of the story the presidents of the new york central and the new york new haven and hartford railroads will share on a stack of ten tables that there are only two all the presidents of the railroads corporation related with new york city presidents in indian context means the station masters the station masters of all these stations share on will share on share on means assure you or that promises you promises you that with the help of a stack of ten tables ten tables stack here means a pile of a pile of ten tables that there are only two all the station masters or presidents of the new york central railway roads or railway stations say that there are only two ten tables one for level 1 and the second for level 2 trains from the grand central station the trains going from level 1 to different stations in new york and from level 2 to different stations only two time tables are available there but i say there are three but the protagonist of the story the protagonist of the story say that there are three time tables there are three levels because i have been on the third level third level of the grand central station so the protagonist argues that there is one additional level at the grand central station what is that additional level third level but the station masters say that only two levels are there for the grand central station but the protagonist is not ready to accept that argument according to him there is one extra level there so he called it the third level yes i have taken the obvious step obvious here means the firm step the self explanatory step the self explanatory step for that what he did was he talked it to a psychiatrist friend of him so i talked it to a psychiatrist friend of mine the protagonist to prove the existence of third level he talked this matter with 
his psychiatrist friend among others he not only talked with this matter with his psychiatrist friend but also with other friends i told him about the third level at the grand central station i told my psychiatrist friend about the existence of the third level at the grand central station so this is the conflict the writer presents in the beginning of the story actually there are only two levels two levels at the grand central station but the protagonist to say that there is one additional level that is the third level so this story the third level is written with the mixture of fantasy and reality and jack finney used the science fiction technique of time travel the time travel genre to create a travel between times and place that technique is used that literary device is used in the story the third level so before moving on to the rest of the story let us take a glimpse of what is this time travel concept in the story let's move third level is a story of time travel the story of the third level clearly explores science fiction sure of time travel it is the sure sure here means a sort of or type of type of time travel the science fiction type of time travel jack finney the recipient of the world fantasy award he already got the world fantasy award he interviews fantasy with the reality in the most futuristic projection of time travel so he implied the science fiction share of time travel in the story the third level the futuristic projection of time travel futuristic projection of time travel here means the futuristic projection it may seem awkward it may seem irrational at the present time but at a later time it sounds rational for example if we say that the early literature says about humans flight but after the discovery of the aeroplane that becomes a rational thing that is the futuristic projection the futuristic projection of time travel charlie wishes to be transported to the third level here in this story the protagonist charlie he wishes to be transported to the third level the world of 1894 so the protagonist charlie wishes to be transported to the third level of 1894 from the present time from the present to 1894 he wishes to travel which is supposedly the much happier and quieter place to be why he wants to go back to the place of 1894 because that place is supposed to be much happier and quieter that is the only reason he wants to go back to the time from the present to 1894 
so this is the time travel concept used in this story it is one of the most concise and entertaining story about time travel so time travel concept sometimes moves backward and sometimes moves forward so this time travel concept sometimes takes the reader to a backward time and sometimes a forward time this is a technique used in science fictions for example the fiction of george orwell this technique is used in science fictions the question of whether the third level exist in reality or only in charlie's mind can be inferred from sam's letter sam is the psychiatrist friend of charlie whether the third level exist in reality or only in charlie's mind that can be inferred that can be understood from sam's letter at the end of the story so this story is written with the help of the science fiction genre of time travel look at here the story also dwells on the theme of escapism so this story tells us about the central theme of escapism not only as a psychological refuge from the grim realities of the present day so this escapism is from the grim realities of the, the present day world but also as a desire to stay with the past or to keep the past alive in the complexities of the present so this is what we see in this story it is not only just a psychological refuge from the grim realities of the present day world but also it is a desire the desire of the protagonist to stay with the past because the past time was so happier and quieter than the present world or the protagonist wants to keep the past alive in the complexities of the present in that sense also we can consider the time travel concept in the story to keep the past alive in the complexities of the present in the story charlie not only expresses a desire to escape because in this story the protagonist expresses a desire not only to escape but also prepares and tries very hard a desire which is not contested by the wife either he not only desires but at the end of the story we see that he prepares and he tries several ways to go back to the 1890s of galesburg illinois but this desire is not contested by the wife either not supported by his wife either but he alone the protagonist alone prepares and tries to go back to 1890s sam is also happily escaped but ironically the psychiatrist friend of the protagonist sam he happily escaped with no plans to resort to his old profession along with the scores of other people who cross the grand central every day 
the irony of this story is that sam and several scores of people who crossed that grand central every day they escaped and sam escaped to this 1890s to resort to his old profession so to escape seems to be an all pervasive feeling so to escape or escapism seems to be an all pervasive feeling all pervasive here me pervasive here means spread it is spread all around there not only with the protagonist but his but with his psychiatrist friend and scores of other people scores scores of means lot of lot of other people who come across the grand central every day look at this paragraph apparent illogically sometimes tends to to be futuristic projection sometimes which appears to be illogical at a point of time proves to be logic in the future so what is illogical for the present day that proves to be logic in the future time a thing which is not worth it today may prove to be useful in our future charlie is troubled with the insecurity fear war stress tension and the worry of the modern world he is unable to cope with the harsh realities of modern world to cope with means to manage with he failed to manage with the harsh realities of the present world so he indulges in waking dream wish fulfillment so the protagonist engages himself in a waking dream wish fulfillment that is a pleasant wish he wants to fulfill in his life so he sees the third level the third level the existence of third level of 1894 for him the third level is a convenient medium of escape for the protagonist the third level is a convenient medium of escape here he escape into the old world of 1894 in order to lead a peaceful life so here he escape to the old world of 1894 in order to lead a peaceful life he just want to lead a peaceful life so he want to escape from the harsh realities of the modern world he wants to escape from the hush and rush of the modern world and to lead a peaceful life in galesburg illinois galesburg illinois where the people are leading a life of romance and are living in big houses notice one thing that here the escape is not in the past but in a futuristic world of fantasy the escape is not just in the past even though the date is given as 1894 here the escape is not in the past but in a futuristic world of fantasy here the protagonist fantasizes a world of peace he wants to transport it to a world of fantasy with peace and contentment so that is the importance of the story third level for the explanation of the story the link is given in the description box you can watch the entire description of the story thank you for watching till the end